Hello everyone, today we're gonna take a look at Bukton Hanok village. If you wanna escape the never ending buzz of Seoul and experience a more traditional side of Korea while still learning more about the culture, then you don't need to venture far. Surrounded by Gyeongbokgung Palace, Changdeokgung Palace and Jongmyo Shrine, Bukton Hanok village is home to hundreds of traditional houses called Hanok that date back to the Joseon dynasty. The name Bukjeon, which literally translates to northern village, came about as the neighborhood lies north of two significant Seoul landmarks, Cheonggyecheon Stream and Jongno. Today, many of these Hanoks operate as cultural centers, guest houses, restaurants and tea houses, providing visitors with an opportunity to experience, learn and immerse themselves in traditional Korean culture. Yes, you guessed it. This is the street, the place where all the aesthetic pictures are taken. But another thing you'll notice here is that on almost every door there are keep quiet signs. As Bukchon Hanok village is an actual neighborhood with people's homes, visitors are advised to be respectful at all times while looking around. So, besides walking around and taking pictures, what else can you do here? Well, right at the entrance there are lots of cute shops, restaurants and cafes you could check out if you want to relax and have a snack. Another interesting place you should drop by is the Ungurgir Garden, which is a pottery hand painting workshop. You can find everything you need to create your own souvenir. You just have to buy the ceramics that you like and get to painting. If you don't feel particularly artsy, you can take a look at the various finished products that are for sale. If you're looking to spend a relaxing evening and get away from city life, definitely check out Bukchon Hanok Village. That was it and thank you for watching.